Hi and welcome. This is Intergeo TV here from Berlin. And right now we're talking about AI is taking over in GIS technology. We see it in the digital twins. We see it here within the exhibition halls and the new solutions presented here. And right now we have a new platform for news for the geospatial community. Um, yeah, which is enhanced by AI technology. And this is so interesting and fascinating. And I'm really happy that the guy who programmed it or designed it is right now here. It's Marco Juric and he's a software engineer and he's producing the Geo Coffee News. Hi and welcome. Hey, hello. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here and thank you for having me. Yeah, and this um, show is about news and trends and novelties and you launched a new platform for news for the geospatial community last week exactly yeah it was it was launched last week so it's all super fresh uh, but yeah geocoffee news is a web platform that offers users um, summaries of latest news articles from all around the geospatial world uh, and it offers those summaries in a form of a personalized news feed a short two-minute daily podcast 30 second informative videos. And um, additionally to that, it also keeps the users updated on the upcoming uh, major geospatial events, such as Intergeo. So. Yeah, but we are an editorial team of several people okay. running around here through the halls, producing content. We're working, really working, hard working, drinking coffee. <laughs> <laughs> but this is only a AI. <laughs> Yeah, so the solution itself uh, searches for latest articles from various um, sources and then it uses AI, uh, AI to summarize the content and then the, these summaries are offered on the web platform and everywhere the source is properly uh, visible. So where the article is from and every single article or everything that is on the web platform has a clear link to the original source, so the, the original article itself. So, And the podcasts... They are also AI or? Exactly, yeah. So, so there's no presenter, no, <laughs> no host? No. Nobody? No. So um, Just an artificial voice? Exactly, yeah. So Amazing. AI is used <laughs> then to um, transfer the summary of yeah. the content, uh, to transfer the text to speech. Then the solution adds some background music and some sound effects, so it sounds kind of cool. Uh, and that's how the podcast is done. Every episode is two minutes long. Uh, every episode uh, has a description that um, has in there all the articles that are featured and again the source of the articles. Um, and it's a daily episode, so uh, every day in the morning it's uploaded to various platforms such as Spotify, Google Podcasts and Apple Podcasts. And it's all integrated also on the website of GeoCoffee News. How did this idea to program <laughs> a platform so <laughs> with AI come into your mind? So um, I am a software engineer, but I, I studied geodesy and geospatial technology and I have background and, let's say, passion for that. So quite often I would like um, spend mornings searching for some latest articles. So I would click around different websites um, and then check if there are some news and if they are new, there are news, I would check the articles and that was quite time consuming. And also when I was reading the article, sometimes I read halfway through then I realized maybe this topic is not that interesting to me and I, well, wasted one minute of my time. So I just wanted to have like a web platform that delivers all the information, all the latest news, um, but also centralized on one place, but also um, that the content is just short summary so you can really check if the article is something that you really are interested and then you could click on it and check the actual article. Mm -hmm. How many hours or weeks have you been working on it to program a platform working completely alone well, <laughs> without anybody behind it? So you don't have any employees or editorial staff or somebody doing this? No, no. So it was a, it was a really busy summer behind me. Okay. Um, so we're talking about hours, weeks? Yeah, yeah. So I guess a few months all okay. in total. But it's hard to judge because, uh, well, I, I have a job and then after work let's say on the evenings weekends i would spend it on this on this um, solution so it, it's hard to judge but let's say a few months of some days are i'm more mo motivated some days pass by and <laughs> I, I don't know work on it or not so okay 
So, and it's completely free, or you earn with it? It's your new job, or what's, <laughs> no, the, no. what's the plan with the Geo Coffee News? <laughs> well, it's uh, it's non-profit. It's not profit-driven. Okay. I I am interested in the topic, and I just wanted to make something uh, and be creative with it. So, currently, like, there's no profit in my mind. Uh, I would like to just explore some collaborations, maybe some partnership or whatever, but. Uh, everything is for free and it should be for free, it should stay for free because it's public information and it just helps the, to deliver all of the information. Mm. So makes me speechless, Marco. <laughs> <laughs> because usually we have those traditional platforms and medias from all over the world represented here at Interview. They work from America, from India, from China. Everybody's coming here with their editorial board and members and they walk around and do interviews and produce content. And then your platform grabs this content yeah, and yeah. then offers it in a snack in for just for the Geo Copy News. Yes, yes, exactly. But the whole point is that all this content is just summarized. Uh, so it's like also, it works like as an uh, advert for those mm -hmm. companies. Mm -hmm. So you see you where see the, the article is from, from, yeah, from. and mm -hmm. uh, it, it yeah. let's say, boosts also their engagement. So. Yeah, it boosts the engagement. It's for more reach and more for, for more exactly. visibility yeah. and so on. Yeah. But it's great. So when I want to start, I just go onto the website and then exactly. everything is exactly. For there's free a or when you're first on the website, there's a tour guide that um, guides you through everything. So should be it should be user friendly that mm. was <laughs> that was my goal to make it as user friendly and to enhance the user experience with dealing with the news articles from geodesy so how are the reactions so far because right now it's day 3 of intergeo you pitched it on several uh, places so yeah. what do people say so um, the reactions the response that i got so far it was like overwhelming overwhelmingly positive and um, it's I don't know, it's, it's really motivating to like keep on going. Um, the response was super positive so far, yeah. Okay, and so, till we see us next time, you have to produce an avatar for me. Okay. Presenting the news. Okay. And then we can go for a coffee. Okay, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much for presenting the Geo Coffee News here. Thank you Your very much, Your Geo audience is really interesting and fascinating and congratulations to this. <laughs> Thank you very much. I think we will hear from each other soon. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Thank you, Marco. <laughs> Thank you, Denise.